Uh, the news headlines now. Efforts in Albany to take emergency powers back from Governor Cuomo are now moving forward. It's in response to his handling of nursing homes during the pandemic. And CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. Call it Albany lawmakers strike back. State senators fed up with one man rule are set to pass a bill to stop Governor Cuomo from unilaterally issuing new directives or laws during the pandemic without a green light from a bipartisan legislative commission. The frustration has been that there has been some decision making that has seemed arbitrary or that we wouldn't necessarily agree with. And it's not just because lawmakers are upset the governor withheld information about COVID deaths in nursing homes. Officials tell CBS2 that people concerned about a whole host of issues from restaurants to school reopenings to fixing the economy will have another place to make their case. It's always a mistake for one person and their small inner circle to be making decisions without someone else providing oversight, providing a check and balance. The legislation is also backed by Assemblyman Ron Kim, one of Cuomo's harshest critics. The two have been involved in an ugly and very public back and forth. Cuomo charging that Kim acted unethically by taking political donations from nail salons while working on legislation that was supposed to crack down on salon abuses. Kim says Cuomo called him and threatened him to shut him up. I felt threatened um, when he pushed uh, on a phone call, uh, berated me for 10 minutes, asking me uh, to issue a statement that countered what I had said. A top Cuomo aide accused Kim of lying about the call. He called it, quote, part of a years long pattern of lies by Mr. Kim. Mayor de Blasio, a frequent Cuomo punching bag, also chimed in. There clearly needs to be a full investigation. There are reports that the FBI and the Brooklyn U.S. Attorney's Office are investigating the actions of members of the Cuomo administration in the nursing home issue. What's unclear is whether the probe was ordered by former President Trump and whether it will continue now that there's a Democrat in the White House. Federal sources telling CBS2 that Attorney General designate Merrick Garland is expected to be questioned about it at his confirmation hearing next week. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS2 News.